Here we go back again with another video and yesterday I've been around Harrington Country Park for a four mile run. It's absolutely soggy soaking and my shoes could do with a good wash. But now I'm going to have a trips up to the Pension Monument. Yes, Pension Monument built 1844 to 1845 and the architect was somebody called Benjamin Green. Well, the architect was John and Benjamin Green. Sorry, John, I forgot to put your name at the front of that. Oh, the sun's gone in. But back in the day, this monument cost about £6,000 to build with the local grit stone. I remember racing around here years ago, but I don't know if I went this way. I'm going to go into the woods down by the pension monument over this sty. And you know what time it is? It's time to let's get lost. I'm after a good workout today, like I said before, four mile done. Now I'm heading off into Pension Wood and Dawson's Plantation. Let's do it. Only problem with going down there is that I've got to go back up there again somewhere. But, end of the day, that's what workouts are for. That's what workouts are for. That's what a workout's for. Let's talk English. <laughs> Hope I don't slip over. It is very nice and quiet down here. Hear can hear the birds. I think of the birds singing this time of year, starting to get a bit warmer now. But yes, Alex Neal has rated Corey Evans massively in his campaign since he's come to Sunderland. And he says he's a big part of Sunderland's success in the nine games he's been, you know, managing Sunderland. So it's guaranteed Corey Evans will be captain and starting tomorrow. But what's your thoughts on Corey Evans? Well, well, well. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. What's going on? There's loads of X's all over these trees. Is the kids messing about? Are they going to be chopped down? I don't know. Seems a bit harsh. <sighs> Let's head off the beaten trail. See where this takes me. All the way down to the bottom. This should be fun. Down and out. Then back up again. A long way to the top. Oh, dear me. Oh, this is going to be tough. But yes, Corey Evans is a major, major player for Alex Neal. But yes, Corey Evans. Are you a fan of Corey Evans? Do you think he's not very good or do you think he's improving as the season goes on? I actually think under Alex Neal, he is improving and having better games. He's like the quiet player on the pitch, but he controls the game, breaks up the play. Alex Neal says that he is actually breaking up the play in the middle of the park, which goes unnoticed. It goes unnoticed from the crowd, but he can see it. When teams are attacking, he puts the foot in, he breaks up the play, he does the groundwork. It stops the momentum of the attacking team. Do you agree with that? I think Alex, I think Alex Neal could be correct here. He could be right. He could be getting the best out of Corey Evans. Oh, what's going on down here? There's like a little camp. Like a tent of some sort. Are people living down here in the woods? Look around this holly tree. No, it's not. I thought it was some sort of shed or some sort of shack or some sort of tent. But no, it's a windbreaker for a campfire where the young'uns probably come down, chill out. And I think when you look into the distance. I may be wrong, but can you see the stadium of light at some point? Let's head back up. Let's get through all this mess again. All these woods. To be honest, I don't know where I am, but well, I'll soon find my way out. I normally do. A bit of a crater down there. Long way down there, but I finally found my way back to the path. Back on the Peaton. Back on the Peaton? Back on the beaten path, back on the beaten trail. And I think we'll head back up to the pension monument. We're gonna head that way because there's horses. So we'll go up here. Yeah, we're heading back to the pension monument now. Definitely. Well, that was probably the worst get, get lost I've ever been on, but I will do I will do more. I was popping around in the local area, so I thought I'd do me run here where it was nice, get over and done with, and then we'll have a good pension monument. Getting higher. <laughs> yes, so I've run up all the way of those steps a few times in the past. There's Harrington Park in the distance, being around that 
that pond just there, being around that pond just there, and I ran all the way up to the houses and all the way around to the houses. And you can park for your charge in Houghton How 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 Country Park. You can park for your charge. It's an absolutely brilliant place to come. You can park. There's a garden centre there. You can park for your charge in the Houghton. And, and, and there's a nice scream down there. You get a nice scream down there. And it's free parking. So it's brilliant here at um, Pension Monument and Houghton for exercise. Fantastic. So there we have it. Here we Pension Monument. So for me, I think. Corey Evans just starting the team, just starting the team tomorrow and I think I would start him anyway even if I was manager. I think the team have improved defensively. We do need to go and win the game, it's a must win match, we must get three points on Saturday. Definitely 100%. A little plaque on the side of the pension monument, the storm was laid by Thomas Earl of Zetland, Grand Master of the Free and Accepted Masons of England, assisted by, there we go, the Brethren back in 1844 1844 so have a little pause of the pause of the of the of the phone there and of, of the camera there and, and have a read of that so having a little rest on this lovely seat they provided a pension monument and there's also lovely steps them steps weren't there years ago but they are well developed steps to get to the top i love it up here it's lovely and sunny today it's no wind hardly so it's a beautiful day and you know give us a thumbs up if you think Corey evans should be in the team tomorrow and give us a thumbs up if you think Corey evans shouldn't be in the team tomorrow so just give us a thumbs up thanks for watching the video now back to the studio with mad over to mad at the studio get yourself over there go on i'm gonna go now and try and find my way home and get a shower see you later Oh, please, that's over and done with. Jesus Christ, that was hard work. Four mile round Houghton Park and then bloody about three mile running around Pension Monument. You know what I mean? I mean, I've gone yet. Go and see Madman. Go on, bugger off. Cheers, Terry. Hopefully, he'll be back shortly. I haven't seen him yet. I've cut the grass, mowed the lawn. That's the same thing, isn't it? But yet, the grass in the garden and the mowed the lawns all done and still no sign of the daft lad, Terry. So hopefully, he hasn't fell down those steps of Pincher and he's perfectly fine. Cheers. Yes, so we're down here in studio two, having a little bit of a difference, a bit of a break. I've came back from a nice run out and about and I've had me fence fixed. I've had me fence fixed by Castle Eden Fencing. Yes, you've seen this before, haven't you? That is the number down there. That is the number. If you want your fence fixing, phone up and ask for Percy Stevenson. Yes, he just come out and he just fixed me fence. Well, Mick has just come and fix me fence. You can have a swinging party on there and it wouldn't fall down. But anyway, Evans, is he your cup of tea? Is he your piece of cake? Is he the player that you would have as captain? Who else could we have as captain in the team right now? Bailey's of rights could be the captain. Lucas 09 is the force with him to be captain. But why, why, well, why fix it? Why fix it if it ain't broken? So at this moment in time, Alex Neil has the faith in Corey Evans and I'm kind of coming around to him a little bit. You know where it is? I'm kind of coming around for this moment in time flax after the Oxford game. I'll tell you, the jury's out till after the Oxford game. But at this moment in time, I'm coming around. So yes, I will keep Corey Evans in the side because like I said before, if it ain't broken, don't try and fix it. And also out on the grass, on the pasture, Jordan Willis has been seen kicking some balls on the grass, doing a bit of jogging. The 27-year-old Jordan Willis is back out training. We won't see him this season. But do we keep the 27-year-old Jordan Willis for next season? Tell me in the comments below, would you want to keep him? He's been injury prone. He's had a couple of operations out for the whole season. He could come back next season better than ever, or he may never get back. Touch wood, he comes back better than ever. But would you give him a contract? Is he worth a one-year contract, a one-season contract? Why not? But it depends what, what kind of, what level we're at. If we're in League One, there's no harm in giving him a one-season contract. If we're in the Championship, will he be good enough in the Championship? And tomorrow I will be doing my live stream. Yes, my live stream. Sun, rain or shine. I'll be doing my live stream anyway. I'll be doing my live stream, whether it be in Studio One or Studio Two. I'll be upstairs in the Studio One. But the live stream will be coming from you at around about two o'clock. So be there or be square. Join in the chat. Much appreciated. And if you are new to this channel, it's only a quick little video today. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. We're only 19 more away 
from 13 and a half thousand. Big round of applause to you all, to you all. And those score predictions tomorrow, it's a must win match. Never mind, we've got to get this by the scruff of the neck. By the scruff of the neck and take them three points tomorrow. We cannot afford to drop any points tomorrow. For me, if we get a draw tomorrow and the last likes of Sheffield Wednesday and Wickham win, season is over. You know, regardless of all those people out there who are saying, well, you know, we're only three points behind and there's still four games to go. Piss off. Simple as, right? We've been saying that all season from when we were top of the table, we're in second place. Well, you know, we'll win next week and we'll be back on top place. Then we're down to third place. Well, you know, if we win next weekend, we'll be in the top two. And then let's keep on dropping, dropping, dropping. And now we're in seventh place. We can't keep on saying that with six games to go. We've got to win now. It's must win from now every single game. If them players want to get promoted, if that manager wants to get promoted, they've got to win every single game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, God bless, and may your God go with you. And he's daft lad coming in the yard now. He looks absolutely shattered. We'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. Take care.